Welcome back. Thank you for joining me this morning. Um, we're going to be cooking some breakfast. So I've got my tin of one thawing out. So while I'm waiting on that to thaw out, I got to come out here and check on my little chickens. Uh, I'm going to give them a little scratch under their trailer because they won't come out and walk around in this snow um, if they even come out of the building. But they all came out yesterday while it was snowing and just stayed under their trailer. Look at that beautiful sunrise God has given us this morning with this snow cover. It's very questionable if anybody's going to come out. <laughs> They're all just looking at me after I open the door. Anybody? Are y'all coming out? <laughs> yeah, everybody's just chilling. They don't like snow. Well, this one's eating it. Alright, so what I'm going to show you in today's video, I feel like is the ultimate cast iron cooking in my brain anyway. It's something I struggled with for years. Uh, I can cook about anything and cast iron. My pans are well seasoned, but I was struggling with eggs uh, for a long time. But now I can cook eggs. They don't stick. I wipe my pan clean on about my day. Okay, so I'm going to show y'all how to do that today. Now, before we get started, I will tell you the Lodge cast iron pans, their texture is a little different. Their texture is a little rough. I don't cook with the Lodge when I'm cooking eggs. Um, not saying you can't, but I just don't. So, what I cook with, this is a Wagner that we bought, um, at the Denton Farm Show. They have, a, like, a flea market set up, and we found this. And I'm going to tell you, they're a little pricey, but they're totally worth the money. So, if you see one at an antique store or something somewhere, totally worth it. Uh, my favorite pan of all. So, I'm going to get my tenderloin cooked first. And then we'll get on with the eggs. All right, so while we're waiting on our tenderloin to finish cooking, I'm sure you can hear it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and crack our eggs in this bowl. You really should crack one egg at a time in a separate container and then pour it in here if you're doing it the correct way. So I'm gonna do about six eggs. Now, depending on how many eggs you're cooking is what size pan you use. So if I was only doing two or three scrambled eggs, I would uh, use one of my smaller pans. But I usually do about six or seven in this pan here. It's, I don't know, I would be scared to say, maybe it's like a 13, 12, 13 inch pan, something like that. It's a little bigger than my regular size one. <laughs> Maggie, are you eating eggs? Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and season them with some salt and pepper. We're going to add just a drop of water, about like that. Maybe a teaspoon of water to six eggs. Doesn't affect the taste or anything, but they cook up better with that little extra liquid. Now we're going to, we're going to whisk them. Until it's all one color, it doesn't look separated in the bowl. I got my heat on medium. We're going to do about a tablespoon or two of butter. And we're going to do a little bit of bacon grease. Now, cast iron is non stick, but it has to have grease. It's not like the Teflon stuff, it's, it's got to have grease. 
to be non-stick to work. So we're just gonna let that melt. We're gonna let that butter start bubbling real good. We just want the bottom of this pan and the sides covered. So I'm gonna go around like this. Make sure that that is good and hot. Like I said, the heat's on medium. It's bubbling real good. All right, after you pour them in, don't touch them. Let them sit there for a little bit. All right, it's been about a minute, minute and a half. So now we're gonna come in. Y'all see that sliding across that pan? That's what I'm talking about. Go ahead and mix them up. They'll be done in just a second. clean up we're gonna just wipe that out Ready for the next go round. All right, I'm gonna fix me some breakfast. Made a mess anyway. All right. I think I might make me a sandwich. These are homemade buns that I made last night for supper. I think that's what we'll do. We're gonna put our piece of tenderloin and my eggs on my sandwich here. And that's how we're gonna enjoy that. Don't get no better. It's great. All right, y'all. Well, that's it for today. I thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned a little something. Go out and try it. You got a good seasoned cast iron pan. Try to cook you some eggs in it. You can do it. You can do it. So, anyways, uh, check out in the description some other links where else you might can find me. Uh, I'm on... Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. So I'm all the time putting different stuff different places. And don't forget to check out my cookbook on Amazon. And that's it, y'all. I'll talk to y'all next time.